respected sir i have four questions first Second one is sir, brother please hard to believe please, please mention your name and one question at a time shijil uh, there are some uh, hard to believe uh, instances in any scriptures for instance uh, in quran like uh, birds dropping stones in a uh, battlefield on the enemies uh, uh, context like that uh, which is hard to believe that's my first question there is a question that certain thing mentioned in the quran like birds dropping stones talking about surah fil surah fil chapter number 105 there are many things for example quran says about shakkal qamar prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam split the moon into two musa alaihi salam split the sea into two these are difficult things yes these are known as miracles miracles are those thing which a human mind cannot conceive how it happened for a human being to make the moon into two is not possible first human being to split the sea into two and have a pathway not possible so these are known as miracles which only god can do you and i cannot do so it's difficult for us to conceive the only way for us to testify is to go back into time here sitting now we can't go back 3000 4000 years back and check up whether musa alaihi salam moses did he split the sea or not so what we say these are miracles which doesn't allow us to go back in time but there are many things which quran has said which has come to today for example quran speaks about science about the big bang quran speaks about light of the moon not its own light quran speaks the earth is spherical quran speaks the sun rotates which to a man 49 years back would sound what is this nonsense that the moon has its own light that the earth is spherical all these things about the big bang but today after science has advanced we have come to know it's a fact but to know what happened in the past we can't go back in time so what my logic says whatever the quran has mentioned certain things we can check up now certain things we can't check up we can't go back in time so that goes in the ambiguous slot so what things we can check up today out of those things whatever we can check up say 80% things we can check up so my logic says 80% of what the quran mentioned we can check up today and we have come to 100% correct whatever we can check not even 1% is wrong okay, uh, most of the context are historic uh, i think so Yes, yeah, that's what I'm telling you, brother. A historic for you to say that thing didn't happen. You can only prove by going back in time. If the Quran says Prophet Moses split the sea, you can't prove that he didn't split. Neither can you prove he split. But we can't go back in time. Can we go back three thousand, four thousand years back? Can we go? We can't. So what we say logically, this may have happened, may not have happened. May have happened, may not have happened. The birds may have dropped stone, may not have dropped stone. Correct? What we say, this is ambiguous. If we talk about the nuclear bomb. Thousand years back, would they have believed? Would they have believed? They would have said this is nonsense, right or wrong? But today you and I believe or not? Because science is advanced. Similarly, there's nuclear bomb, there's atom bomb. So birds dropping stone, what's the problem? It is so easy. Nuclear bomb is more difficult. So here we realize we cannot go back in time. So what my logic says, whatever we can testify today, whatever we can analyze today, out of that, hundred percent has been proved to be correct. Twenty percent we can't analyze. We cannot go back. we can't go in future we cannot prove scientifically whether there is heaven or hell so you'll ask me brother zakir you are a medical doctor how do you believe in heaven and hell i said that goes in the 20% ambiguous slot so my logic says when 80% what we can check today of the quran has been 100% to be correct not even 0.1% is wrong so my logic says what 20% is ambiguous inshallah god willing even that will be correct maybe science will advance after 50 years or 20 years we'll come to know about life after death we may come to know about heaven or hell so my logic says there's a logical belief that when not even 0.0001 person has been proved wrong of the quran 80% is 100% correct so my logic says inshallah the 20% which you can't verify by going back in time or going in future even that inshallah will be correct hope that answers the question <laughs>